everyone, it's Mrs M from Mrs M's Baking Show here. How are you all doing? Right, a little impromptu video for you here. So, someone requested that we do strawberry cheesecakes. Well, me and my little ones and my husband went strawberry picking today and we have got so many strawberries. So, I thought we'd make some little individual strawberry cheesecakes for us to have for our pudding. So, I'm going to rope the kids in and they can all help me do it all. Um, so, let's have a look at the ingredients. Right guys, so to make the actual cheesecakes, we need 100 grams of digestive biscuits. Now these can just be cheap ones and it works out to about eight biscuits thereabouts. We need 200 grams of soft cheese, 200 grams of Greek yogurt, four tablespoons of caster sugar and some vanilla extract just a little bit. And then as you can see, we've made our own little strawberry compote there. And for that, we've just used 100 grams of strawberries, two tablespoons of caster sugar or granulated sugar, and also three tablespoons of water. Right, let's get started. Right guys, so I've got my little helper here. He's gonna bash away at our biscuits. So you go for it, mister. That's it, bash them all up nicely. And like I said, that's your 100 grams of digestive biscuits. About eight biscuits it works out to be. Can you hold the bowl for me as well, mister? Good boy. Right, then over here, we've got my other little helper. And he, in there, has got the soft cheese, Greek yogurt, the four tablespoons of the caster sugar, the few drops of vanilla extract. And he's going to give that a good mix up, aren't you? So go on then, mister, off you go with that one. Make sure you hold your bowl. Good boy. There we go. And then over the other side, we've got my other little helper who is going to cut up some lovely fresh strawberries for us, which are going to just go on the inside of the cheesecake or around the outside. So go on then, missus, you can get started chopping your strawberries. Now over here, guys, we've got just some lovely little cups. They're Christmassy cups that they got for Christmas, but they are the perfect size for just a little, little bit of um, pudding for them. So this is what we're going to put all our cheesecake in to finish with. But anything will do. If you've not got any posh glasses or cups, you could just use mugs. You could use plastic cups. That would be absolutely fine. Anything will work. Right, keep, <coughs> keep bashing them, mister. Well done. Let me help you. Well done. Mum, you are brilliant. Well done. Now that's all done. It's all whisked up. We've bashed up the biscuits. We've chopped up the strawberries. Now we're going to put them into the cups. So you get started then, guys. You just want a little bit in each of the bottom of the cups. That's it. Bring your cups over. Well done. That's it. Just put a little bit in the bottom of each cup. That's it. Go on then. And I'll tell you what, I'll bring Mummy and Daddy's cups over as well and we can still put a bit in the bottom of ours as well. Now, like I said, guys, if you've not got posh glasses and mugs, anything will do. Like Egg Oski, you can put some in that one as well for Mummy. And Georgia, you can put some in there for Daddy. Mummy likes Daddy. You know That's oh, it, and we're just it? putting a just a layer on the bottom. A and then we're going to put... A whole layer. Set, cover the bottom and then we're going to put our cream on top of that and there we go okay so now we're going to put the cream and cheese mixture into our glasses so you do a bit first that's it spoon it in well done let me show you I'll help you look. Get a big bit and spoon a layer on like that look okay there you go, go on to your cup next. And what you want to do, guys, is just get a layer of the cream and the cheese. And what we're going to do is put it in the fridge and you're going to let it set for a while. That's fine, straight over to the cup. Well done. That's it. Well done, you're going to do the next one. That's fine. Right, move it across. Do the next one. Well done. That's it. Well done. Right, next one. Let's come over here. Well done, then. Go on, then. Which one's it going into? And do the cup first. Go on, then. So let's just put a little bit more in there, Georgia. Just to... Right, let's move that one across and do the next cup. Go on, then. Straight in. Well done. And like I said, guys, you can do the biscuit as chunky as you like or as fine as you like. Totally up to you. Right, on to the big one now then. Straight 
straight in. Well done, I'm going to nick a little bit just to put a bit more in Oscars. Right, and you want to keep scraping until it's all done. Mom, I spilled yours. Then what you want to do is once you've filled all of them up, is that all done, do we think? Yeah. They all got some in? Yeah. yeah. Right, put your spoon in there then. And you just want to hold your cup and you just want to give it a little tap and that will just settle the cheese mixture. Are we getting a bit messy there? Gently, 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 you should all break the cups. That's it. There we go. Then, like I said, stick them in the fridge, guys, until they've set just a little bit, and then we'll go on to the next part. So I just thought I'd explain to you guys about making the compote, and it's as simple as take your 100 grams of strawberries, your two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and your three tablespoons of water, stick it in a saucepan on a low heat, and let it bubble away. Bring it to the boil, and... Um, give it a good stir really I mash mine up with a potato masher just because it makes it a little less lumpy but if you like it lumpy and chunky leave it like that like I said bring it to the boil and then turn it off the heat and it will start to thicken as it cools down so don't worry about it being quite loose and then obviously we're going to use that in our cheesecake right everyone so they've been in the fridge for probably about an hour now to be honest you know they probably would have set a bit quicker but we were doing our normal sunday thing and silly dancing and all that kind of thing so anyway now i told you earlier how to make the compote so we're just going to layer a nice thick layer of compote into each one obviously this depends on what your children like and so forth but yeah so we're just going to do this and then we will just place just a few to show you some nice cut strawberries on the top and if you are feeling a bit fancy you could dust it with a little bit of icing sugar if you wanted to make it look a bit posh but my kids really aren't fussed and there you have it a very quick simple easy recipe to do like i said you can get the kids to help you so this is one definitely that the kids can join in with and hopefully everyone will really enjoy it Right guys, so there you have it, the finished article, some little mini individual strawberry cheesecakes. No baking involved, but hey, just a quick and simple one, definitely one to give a try with with the children. So don't forget guys, like, share and subscribe and look forward to another video with you soon.